everyone, this is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon. Welcome to a gloomy, grey, horrible, rainy day in the south of England here. Um, so, I thought, as it's all grotty and gloomy outside, um, let's have a look what's in this box, which is my mini deck collection. Now, this doesn't include tin decks, you know, tarot in a tin, like... Um, the Rider Waite Centennial in a tin, those types of decks, because I've got those with my normal decks on the tarot shelf. So these are just my mini decks. So let's have a look. So it's full up. <laughs> it can't fit any more in. So we'll have a look at these. And, yeah, we'll see... Um, what we've got in here there's all sorts so let's have a rummage <laughs> i'll move the box away so that we can see what we're looking at so the first one is this little one you might recognize this so let me just go in a little bit Um, so you might recognise this one. This is the Journey Oracle Cards by Kelly Fitzgerald. Um, this is obviously the mini version, but there is a, or there was a standard version as well. And it comes with one of those thingies, dice. Thing. look at the colour of that, it's so cool um, so yeah, so this is the mini version so, and I do actually have the standard version as well as this one because um, I got this one from Elle who didn't want it anymore and they um gave it to me and then my friend Deanne over at Blue Crescent Tarot she sent me the standard one so it's really good and actually with the standard one because they're bigger than these cards you can like use the standard one and then put one of these on top if you wanted to but we'll have a look through these anyway so this is Underworld this one is Child West. And this is Will. So you see you can like um, join them all up if you wanted to. So they're quite cool. So yeah, so these are the Journey Oracle cards. That one is Spring. I love that one by Kelly Fitzgerald. I don't think these are still available, but yeah. So they're cool and they're nice and bright. Those are the backs. And you know, they're, they're, they're fun because they're like a little, they're something different, different shape and everything, you know. I'm probably gonna have to try and be reasonably quick with these, otherwise we're gonna be here like all day aren't we and you'll be getting bored of looking at them all <laughs> so those are the mini journey oracle cards by kelly fitzgerald so that's those then we have in this bag now this is a bag that i put this into um these are um, there used to be a shop in Glastonbury called Midgard Craft and at one time he, because um, he did all like Viking type stuff and he did these um, rune cards one time, so he Ted the Viking Midgard Craft. Unfortunately his shop closed recently so he's not there anymore but and on the back 
tracks. It's got rune alphabet and meanings. And these are not, now these are, I think, Anglo-Saxon runes. I think they were because they weren't the usual Elder Futhark. Anyway, this is what these look like. They're just room cards, but I thought they were quite cool. And, you know, Ted's shop was really good when he had all the Viking stuff and that in there. So it's a shame that it's gone. But, yeah, that was a deck of cards from Midgard Craft in Glastonbury, which unfortunately is no longer there anymore. And they just came in this bag, but then I put them into this um, red one as well. Just to, I don't know, I don't know why actually. I <laughs> just double bag in things just for the sake of it. But, so that's those. Then we've got in here, and this is a lovely bag that was made by the lovely Anne Fort. Um, and she does have an Etsy shop. Um, I think it's called Orsetti Crafts and she made this bag and sent to me and this has got um, a deck by our own Robin Crutchfield over at Toadstool Tarot and this is Robin's um, Toadstool Tarot 22 major arcana, 4 element cards, 4 court cards to combine and use as you see fit and that's the backs so that's the title card and then they look like this so just different mushrooms and he's got like the titles on there and I think this is available on make playing cards I think um, Robin has a couple of decks on there Oops, you can't see these can you So yeah, I think Robin has a couple of decks on there and that's his uh, mushroom deck, Toastal Tarot. So it's very um, appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> so, let's pick all these up. So yeah, so that one came in this little box. So I'll just put them back in there and at least it's got one of those things so you can get it out easier as well. And so I just put them into this little bag here. It's so nice, it's like, it reminds me of like Mermaid Tales, this bag, you know, because it's got that shimmery effect to it. She does really lovely bags and so yeah so there's that next we have this is the little rider radiant wise spirit tarot this i got in glastonbury because i can remember seeing it i think it was in star child and there was only one left and i remember simon saying get it get it <laughs> So, um, you know, while you see it there kind of thing, so I did. So these are the cards, so just a normal uh, Rider weight, but with sort of more of the dramatic colours, like look at this. So yeah, you've all seen Rider weight before, so that's... The Radiant Wise, which is very cool. It's good if you want to take like a little deck, um, but I've now got this one and the Centennial in a tin, and there's little decks, but then I've got several Rider weight decks as well, which I didn't think originally I would ever have, but I have. <laughs> so that is the Radiant Wise. 
So next, and I've got three different ones of these. We've got um, Whispering Woods, Avalon Magic and Forest Fay. So Whispering Woods was the first one that I ever had. And it was one of the first gifts, I think, that Simon gave me. It was when I visited him. I think it was the first time I visited him in Nottingham that he gave me this. And... So this is the Whispering Woods, and those are the backs. The backs are all the same on these cards. And then it just has things like the night and find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn bright. And then like caution, tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. I love that. Reconnect. Teach. So I'm sure you've all seen these before, but um, I do like them. So yeah, this is uh, one of my older decks because, well, I mean, I think it'll be six years this year since Simon and I have been friends. So this is probably about six years old <laughs> or five years old since I've had it anyways so that's the Whispering Woods Forest Fay this one's cool because these are the backs but um, there's all different things written on these like we've got Green Witch we've got Owl Song Whisper Secrets in the Moonlight Find Strength in Stillness Walker on the wind. How cool is that? And look at that little fairy dude in there. So cool. The raven shows the way. Be courageous. Change and chance are, can bring exciting wonders. Look at the storyteller. So, I love this one. This is very me, this, <laughs> this, I mean, look at this, look, the woodwife, so cool. They're like little friends, these, these cards. <laughs> so that is the Forest Fay. And they're nice and, um, Small. So if you haven't like got like a lot of space, say on an altar area or somewhere, and you want to put a card up, these are a good size. And then we've got Avalon Magic. Of course, I had to have this one, didn't I? <laughs> so, and a lot of these images are taken from the Mists of Avalon deck. Never be afraid to voice your truth, as truth comes from a deep place within your soul. So everything's written on the backs of the cards. Honour your soul path and step into your authentic self. Let your intuition inform your pathway. Love that one. Love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. So, yeah. So these are really nice as well. I mean, I have got the Mists of Avalon deck too, but I don't mind you know, having these as well. I love these, I'm going out neath. I don't know if it's meant to be, no. But it might be, but it doesn't actually say that on it. But yeah, so those are the Avalon magic cards. These, so these are all like little rock pool um, decks and there's, there's others like these as well, like there's a one with doors on it and there's, there's lots of others flowers and all sorts but i've just got those three um next uh, now this is a tin deck that probably shouldn't be in there actually but it is a mini deck 
and classic me, it's not open. <laughs> this is um, Prisma Visions. So this is the mini deck of Prisma Visions. I backed the Kickstarter where you've got all three of the uh, decks, the Prisma Visions, Light Visions and the Cosma Visions. Um, I gave away the Cosma Visions in a trade and I've still got the light visions and I've got this one as well but this one is not open but hopefully you can see from the back um, but yeah I haven't actually opened it <laughs> that one so that's that and then we've got a little black Kelly Bear pouch little tiny pouch this one for a little tiny deck so in here is the uh, Moon Phases Oracle and this is out of print. This is um, by Devin Strickler. So yeah, it's just some information cards but these like this which are really these are really nice cards actually um, but you know sometimes these things even though they're out of print sometimes they'll come up on eBay or trade groups things like that so you know sometimes you can be lucky you know somebody might might have this deck and you know not want it anymore you know it happens but um, they're cool cards, but I've had these quite a long time. Um, the Kelly Bear pouch, I think, might have been the first pouch that I bought from Kelly. I know I've had it a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. So, these are the Moon Phases um, Oracle. So, let's gather those up. I say though I've had it a long time I think I got this on I think it was on a trade group where I got this pretty sure it was because it just there's like a little book as well with it um, which I don't keep with it because it's too big for the pouch but yeah look at this lovely bright green ribbon I love it love Kelly's pouches so that is the Moon Phases Oracle. Then we have this one, which is Nature Nurture, Marcella Kroll. And this one, I think, might be out of print as well. Um, so it comes with a little book clip. And it's quite cool. It's um, gilded sides and it's just like like this so dove forgiveness rabbit challenge koi fish good luck labyrinth is journey sleeping man unconscious ancestor past fox shapeshifter spider creativity acorn wisdom Frog Detox, got Sun and Moon Union, that's cool. Look at this Orca Records, Buffalo Abundant, Travel, Mountain, Birth, Wolf, Nest, Eagle. So, yeah, this is a really nice little deck. I really like it. I mean, I think most of these. Well, all of these I don't think I would actually let go of because um, I do really like them. Okay, I haven't actually used the Prisma Visions deck, but that's the only one in here that's not opened. Then I've got this little one. Now, this is... Is it the re... It's a deck that's been redone. I think it's the Kikai Shabo, something like that. 
Um, and Simon gave me this. I really like it. It's cool. So it's Rider Waite Smith, but with kind of Marseille image, uh, Marseille, yeah, images, but in the Rider Waite Smith. But you read it like a Rider Waite Smith. So you see, it's got like classic kind of Marseille style images to it. The cardstock is so nice. I think it's that superior smooth or something from Make Playing Cards. So yeah, it's really nice. Some of these little mini decks, they're so cool to play around with. So yeah, I think this is the re... I don't know what the right word is. I can't think of the right word. <laughs> um, Reimagining of the Keisha bow. So it's, you know, where somebody's re redone the artwork. Made it into this smaller deck because I think the Keisha bow is difficult to get hold of, the original. So that is the mini of that. You watch, guys. After I've done this video, I'll probably find more minis that are actually not in this box, but hopefully not. I think I have got them all. <laughs> but who knows? because I've got a big box in the bedroom with decks in it as well. <laughs> so that's those. Then I have, and these are by the same creator. So these are by um, Nikisha van der Hoven. Um, so, and I've also got her standard deck, the um, Badger's Forest um, Tarot. So let's have a look first at the Blue Dog Rose Tarot. This was sent to me by um, Jamie, Wandering Mountain Bardic Path. So it's really lovely of her. So this is the Blue Dog Rose. It's really nice. I love um, Nikisha's artwork. So cool. So yeah, it's really nice. And um, these are the backs. Just they feel nice too, these. And the thing is, so this is the Blue Dog Rose, and I've also got here the Tarat. The Tarat, get it? Like tarot, but Tarat, because it's a rat deck. But I also, but she also has a rabbit one that I, is the only one I've got missing. I don't have is the rabbit one. Um, and I. I don't know if you can still get it. I've got a feeling you can't get the rabbit one anymore. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. It would have been nice to have had like the complete collection. Um, but this is the Tarat. So the backs are like that. And then... So cool, look. It's so cute. I know some people don't like rats. I mean, look at that hermit, look. How cool is he? He's so cute. So yeah, so this is the to rat. Yeah, like I said, probably if I ever came across the rabbit one, I might get it. You never know if somebody was um, wanting to let theirs go or something. But 
Yeah, because I know the rabbit one's really cute as well. Because I've seen other people showing it. So that's the Tarat. Then we have Dreams of Gaia. So this is the pocket edition of this deck. I do have the larger version as well. I did originally get rid of it and then ended up repurchasing it mainly for the guidebook because you don't get like a guidebook or you don't get the big guidebook with this one. But it's nice matte cardstock though. It's still lovely. So I could, you know, use this and still read the big guidebook if I wanted to. Or I've got the option of using the larger cards in the other set in the standard size um, set so yeah so that is the dreams of Gaia pocket edition it's another mini deck honestly the amount of time taken up we're trying to get these things back in the boxes. <laughs> I'm a nightmare for it, for getting things in properly. And then I have the last three, which are all 78 pocket editions. So we've got the 78 Tarot Magical with the Fool's Items Oracle. And the 78 Tarot Animal, Tarot of the Wild. So we'll have a look, a quick look at these. So they come out of their little sleeve. And they're cute little cards, look. Might not be able to see them very well down there though. So I can go in a bit. Oh no, that's coming out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's coming a bit further, isn't it? You can see now. Now they look really big, these cards, but they're not. Probably try and go out a bit. That's it. So. Yeah, they're not like large cards, but. They are nice, these, the 78 Tarot Magical. And of course, there is a standard um, edition of these as well. I really like them. And again, Simon gifted these to me. So that was really nice of him. To the backs. So, I mean, just look, seriously, look at that. Oh, so three of wands. That's so cute. So, yeah, so that is the Tarot Magical. We're going to do is put those back later. <laughs> then this is the Oracle. Fool's Items Oracle. That kind of came with it, I think. Cauldron, candles, look how creepy that looks, brilliant. Yeah, these are excellent. I haven't looked at these for a little while, but um, this Oracle deck, and now you know like when you start getting them out and looking through the cards, you're like, oh yes, I'm going to keep that out. <laughs> I love that cloak. It reminds me of um, Doctor Strange, if any of you have seen that film. So that is the Fool's Items Oracle. And then the last one is the 78 animal 78 tarot animal oh, what's 
So many boxes here now. <laughs> so obviously the pocket edition. Those are the backs, very cool. And these are lovely, I love this. I mean, it's so cute. I mean, I love animal cards anyway. And um, yeah, these are lovely. I thought at first that he was the fall card, but he's not, he's the meditation card. <laughs> And look, even a dinosaur in it. So cool. I love it. So, so that's it, guys. That is all of my mini or pocket decks. I hope you enjoyed seeing them and seeing me make a mess of trying to put cards back in boxes. I've got to put it all away now, but that's fine. But I hope you enjoyed seeing them all and I'll talk to you again soon. Oh, and if any of you have got mini decks or, you know, want to show me your mini decks, then definitely do that. Um, I'm not going to put this as a hashtag, but if you want to um, do a VR, then, yeah, that would be lovely. I'd love to see your mini decks as well. If you did want to do that, that would be brilliant. Okay, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.